hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so today's video is a review on masaba by nika nail enamels in my previous video i've already reviewed the matching lip shades of these two nail paints if you haven't checked it out we'll leave the link in the description box down below now i really like nail enamels from nika the already existing range i'm a huge fan of them mainly because they are of very good quality they're very pigmented and most importantly they do not dry my nails out nothing much has changed packaging wise it is the same like the already existing range except that this is a collaboration by famous fashion designer masaba gupta and nika so there is this beautiful print of the cow all over the cap which looks so pretty other than that the packaging remains the same you do have the manufacturing and expiry dates at the base of the nail paint the shade name and number is on the bottle and the shade number is stuck on a label on the cap this is the shade touch me not the formula is neither too thick nor too thin but just perfect to apply and it's exactly the same as the formula from other ranges from nika nail paints especially the wedding collection which is my personal favorite this is what the shade touch me not looks like this is a very vibrant bright pink shade with red undertones to it Pinks are my favorite shades when it comes to nail paints and I do own quite a few of them. I personally feel a bright pop of pink on your lips and your tips is going to brighten up any outfit you're wearing. The nail polish does match the lip shade except that it's more vibrant and bright on the nails and much more muted when it comes to the lip shade. The next shade I picked up was Nimbu Pani. Let me tell you this is one of my favorites from this range and if you want me to recommend that one particular shade from this range go ahead pick up both in the nail paints and the lip shade Nimbu Pani you will not be disappointed. This is what shade Nimbu Pani looks like. This is a beautiful terracotta neutral nude shade and it looks so beautiful. The nail paint and the lip shade are an exact match and this would go on well with any outfit you wear. I also picked up from this range their nail polish removers. This retails for 275 rupees for 60 ml of product and this is enriched with almond oil and vitamin E. In the ingredient list you can notice it does contain alcohol. Now this is a very pretty black bottle with a bright pink cap. You do have the cow printed all over the bottle exactly like the cap of the nail paints. Now this is one of those very quick and easy dip and twist nail polish removers. This is my first time trying out a nail polish remover like this. I guess Calaba has one like this but I've never really tried that one. So this has a sponge inside which is saturated with the nail polish remover and it has an opening in the middle. You need to put your finger inside and twist it and ta-da! In a few seconds it all comes off. Uh, you need to twist it uh, properly so that it gets to the corners of your nails. Now this took just a few seconds, it's so easy to use it and it's great for traveling. This definitely has a very overpowering perfume in it which I'm not a fan of. And also ever wondered what happens to all the nail polish gunk which gets collected inside? Just saying. I have absolutely no complaints when it comes to Nika pa nail paints except for one. There is no ingredient list mentioned and also this particular range by uh, Nika has not mentioned whether it is toxin free or those five free which it usually mentions in the other ranges of nail paints from Nika. I really hope they do update that information. 
I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and found this video very useful. So until my next one, stay happy, keep smiling and have fun with makeup.